So I get this question all the time. Can the prostate be removed prophylactically in order to prevent problems like prostate cancer, benign prostatic hyperplasia, prostatitis, etc.? Now remember, the prostate is one of those organs that we don't essentially need it in order to survive. But it does have several functions. For instance, it secretes substances that help support and nourish sperm. It is also important to realize that the prostate is very richly innervated, and it can be erogenously stimulated during sexual activity. But let's pretend you wouldn't care about that. Let's talk about what could happen when the prostate is removed. Let's review some anatomy. Here we have the prostate, up here we have our bladder, that's what holds urine, and remember the urethra passes right through the prostate and then exits out through the penis. Here we have our seminal vesicles, these help make uh, seminal fluid, and then over here we have our vas deferens. Remember vas deferens help bring sperm from the scrotum into the ejaculatory duct which dumps into the urethra. Now prostatectomies or surgical removal of the prostate is a relatively straightforward procedure but at the same time can be very complicated. You can't just carve out the prostate and leave the urethra and seminal vesicles. You have to take the whole thing. So ultimately, everything in this red box is gonna be cut out and then it's gonna look something like this. Once the surgeon removes the prostate, the seminal vesicles, part of the vas deferens, and the prostatic urethra, what the surgeon must do is they must re-anastomose, that's a fancy word for connect, the bladder to the urethra. That's gonna look something like this. Given the structures that we removed, it's important to realize that while the ability to orgasm and get an erection should be intact, that the ability to ejaculate will be completely lost. This matters more to some people than it does to others. You also must realize that we're operating in a very delicate area. Now here we have our prostate, remember that's what's getting removed, and behind here we have a ton of different nerves. Within this neurovascular structure, we have nerves that we dub the cavernous nerves. Now if these nerves are damaged in the process of the surgery, it can result in permanent erectile dysfunction. Following the advent of newer nerve sparing techniques, the incidence of erectile dysfunction following radical prostatectomy has been significantly reduced, which is a good thing, but the risk is always there. It's also important to realize that these surgeries can be pretty intense, right? The recovery can be pretty grueling, and typically men don't regain full urinary continence for several months. On top of all that, this surgery is extremely expensive. Of course, it's usually worth these risks to remove the prostate in someone with a potentially lethal disease like prostate cancer. But given all these factors that we just discussed, it makes sense that you don't want to remove the prostate indiscriminately in everybody.